Hi guys, it's Rob here from Turnupload and from GamePit.co.uk and I'm just going to take a quick look at Chromagun VR. Um, so I have played a little bit of the game. Uh, if we go to select chapter, you'll see I'm up to a third chapter at the moment. I'm just going to continue from here because I'll explain as I go along what I'm actually doing. Um, in VR, as you can see, you have your controller. My real one isn't white, it's black. Um, but it's white in game <laughs> um, that you can use the DS4 or you can use the aim controller there's no support for move controllers uh, within the game Sorry, let me just... lens is again a bit steamed up um, yeah there's no support for move controllers uh, but there is the DS4 so pretty much everyone can play um, this menu as you can see we are actually already in the game and they have added recently Smooth turning. So recently, uh, so previously it was um, snap rotation, which I think I need to. There we go. So it was previously like this, and I requested that we had smooth turning because sometimes snap turning doesn't give you the accuracy that you need. So if you're okay and Good with comfort settings then i recommend snap rotation should be turned off um, and there is a color blind mode if you are color blind because the game is based on colors oh there you go uh, the game is based on matching colors and using colors to pass the puzzles so if you are color blind if you switch that on it actually adds symbols to the colors so it makes it a lot more playable uh, for those of you who are affected by colors. To continue the tests, please acquire the upgraded tricolored chroma gun. As without it, you would not be able to solve the subsequent rooms and eventually succumb to hunger. Okay. Um, it's a lot like, or not a lot like, but it's, it's a bit like Portal, to be honest with you. We're in a bunch of test chambers and we have to try and get out by solving the puzzles so this is the new gun that we've got it now has three colors so we've got yellow um oh my controller's gonna die let me just sorry i should have checked this beforehand just feeling around see if i can find the actual charging cable um sorry one second there it is There you go, it shouldn't die on us while we play now. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so we've got yellow, we've got red, and we've got blue. And we can also mix the colours together to get different colours. But we can also, if we mix too many colours, we get black. So, black we don't want, because black is bad, but colours are good. So, try not to colour, uh, mix three colours together. So, what we need first is blue. So, the beam tells us what colour we're using. So as you can see, we've got these balls, which are safe at the moment. But as soon as they get coloured in, they'll start to become bad. So we need this to touch that, so we need yellow. And that ball will go to whatever is the yellow thing that's near it. So there's nothing near it that is the same colour, it will start chasing you. And that's when you'll start getting attacks. So this one needs to be blue. And I think, oh there's one more. This one needs to be red. Nice and simple that one. Let's see, can we run? We can't run, okay. Now the only thing that I've spotted that's a bit iffy is every um, test room has a loading screen like that. It's not long, it's only a few seconds, but you do start to notice after a while. Right, so, and this, always gives you the same kind of information. It would have been nice if that told you what was coming. So you can't shoot through these. I right, see so you need to be green and blue. All right, so can we go in here? No. To get in there, we need the yellow thing, which is in here, I imagine. But we can't get in there either. Right, so you need to be orange. So if we do yellow, it will get attracted to the yellow one 
And then if we add red to it, it will become orange and it will go over there. So if you ever played uh, Spectrum Retreat, I've got a video of that on my channel as well. It's a little bit like Spectrum Retreat in that it's uh, based on the colours. So you see this one, if we add any other colours to this ball, it's going to turn black and it will start chasing us and kill us. So what we need to do is colour this in purple. So we're going to have red and blue. That's open this door and that door. And now that one needs to be green. But we can't do green yet, can we? So green and blue. And yellow. So yellow's going to pull it over there. Green and green. In fact, we need it to be green, don't we? Which is um, yellow and blue. There we go. See, if you don't understand what's going on, is once you get it's the right colour, it will go to the nearest colour of that colour and uh, nearest wall of that colour. So, with it being green now, it was attracted to both of these greens. So, obviously, it pulls it right into the centre here. So that's why it's doing that. <laughs> Um, the development of this game as well, the actual VR port was done by one guy. The main game was done by more, but VR was done by one guy, so that's quite impressive to be honest with you. Right, so we need this to be green, uh, which it's hinting at oh, what colours to use by what's next to it. This one needs to be purple, which is blue and red. And this one needs to be orange, which is... Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Uh, yellow. See how it started to chase me for a minuscule of a second until it realised that there was an orange thing over there. <laughs> right, now this one is going to be a bit more tricky because we're going to have to get these to follow us, probably. Um. Oh no. Okay. Not quite sure why they're there because we didn't have to use them for any of the puzzles. It's a bit strange. Unless it was just being a red herring. Oh, bit of a stud there. Huh? Right, red. That's locked. Locked. Right, we need one to be there but as you see that's not pulling it see if we shoot it and we've got red it will now start following us but as soon as it picks up on the wall there we go Now, why were they attracted to red? Oh, no, I think they're just attracted to me, aren't they? I think I've just woke them up, that's all. Right, so we need green and purple, so let's do green first. And then if we do purple. Most that one makes your balls disappear by the looks of it. Oh, your balls still go through. What? Oh, they're just barriers that I can't go through and they can't go through, but you can still shoot through them. Okay. First time I've encountered those barriers. Um. Alright, we need one there. But they're black. Does that mean I need to colour a wall in black? Um, it's chasing me, it's going to kill me. <laughs> um, can we get down here quickly? <laughs> well, that's where we came from, isn't it? Oh, shit. Um, I don't have to get rid of this black one. Oh, 
None of these other doors are open. Um. Huh. He doesn't want to go on this spot here. Why will it stay on that spot? It's purple. Okay, I'm confused. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Right, let's get him to kill me. Oh, I know what I need to do. Right, okay, Remember, get ya. If you want helpful worker droids to aid you with the completion of this chamber, these aren't the worker droids you are looking for. Yeah, that's a hint because I just kind of clicked as to what I need to do. So let's just do these first. So that was red and blue. And that was blue and yellow. Right, so that will now open that door, I think. Oh no. Right, so we do actually have to enter it this way for that door to open. Let's do that first. Actually, you know what? Let's do. Oh no, let's do that first because this is going to shut this door. I don't want that door shutting yet. Not quite sure what triggered that door to open. I think maybe standing on this opened it. No. Was it waking up one of these? How did I open that door last time? Oh, you just walk into it. Okay. Right, now what I need to do... Oh, I shouldn't have got those following me. Um, is turn this one orange. Why can't I change its colour? Oh. Okay, kill me. Did it wrong. <laughs> Right, third time lucky though. In light of your recent blunders, <laughs> and they are many, we feel we are obliged to inform you that Kung Fu has been proven to be futile against worker droids. Yeah, we know me. Um, it's not my fault. <laughs> right, and again. So we don't colour the droid, we colour the wall. So what we need to do is just shove any colour on there so he starts following us. Come on. Come on. And then we colour that wall. And this should stick it to there and open this door. It is a very clever puzzle game, this. I do like it. Yeah, this game can be bought in both 2D and 3D now. The 3D ver or the VR version that I'm on now came out yesterday on the 19th. Hmm. 
I need to be on that one. Um, the 2D version came out a while ago. Obviously, I've played the VR version. I've never played the 2D version. Chromatic. Um, and we need a ball on there. Okay, this was a lot bigger than I thought it was. Oh, so now we need that red one from over there to come back in here. But red's going to go there. How are we going to get it over there? We can't pull that one out. Unless, can we grab the ball from here? No. Okay, let's try it. Oh shit, it's locked the door. <laughs> Wait, what's that door? Oh, that's that one. Okay. Come on, you. Oh. Right, this is going to make it go there. But we need it over here. If we had more things over here that want to pull it in. Maybe we can pull it in that direction. Oh, we can uncolor that one, can't we? Of course we can. <laughs> totally forgot about that. There we go. Let's just do a few more puzzles to show you what, it means, what it's like. Obviously, you've probably caught the gist of the game by now, though. So we've got a yellow ball here. Um. Uh, can we colour this bit in? No. But we have got a yellow thing there. There's a green wall there. Okay, this one's a bit more confusing. I would say I need to get it here to open that door first. Okay, it's not moving. Um, huh. So I can pull it in over there, but I don't want it over there. Why is it not moving? Huh. Oh, okay. So that triggered it to move over here. Um... There we go. <laughs> no idea how that worked. I've got an orange one here. So we're going to need... Orange out here. And if we change that to orange... It should come out there. There we go. And an orange is over there, so if we get an orange there, I change the colour here. Oh, no, I've 
and I got it stuck. Oh. Can we restart? Yeah. <laughs> right, I think I may know what you need to do. I'm not sure. Right, so we did the yellow there to pull it out first. But then we need that one to be orange. 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 Now if we do this one orange as well. Oh no, I don't want that to be a different colour, do I? Because I've got this one here. Oh yeah, I need that to be purple, blue. I can't really pull that out unless we can get it to that one. But how are we going to get this out of here? Oh, this one's a spiked one. This one will follow me. Okay, this one needs to be following me. Oh, it's trying to get over there, isn't it? But obviously it can't get out that door. Can I push it over here? Restart. That's the last one I'm going to be doing. But I think I know what the solution is now, finally. Right, yellow. Cocked it up again. How did I get that one out of there last time? You have to do one thing at a time and not do multiple like I'm doing. Right, so now we have to do this one. Made it.
But yep, so we're going to leave it there. That's five levels of the game, just to get the gist of what you can do. So that's uh, Chroma Gun VR. So it's out now in VR, or you can also buy the flat mode. It is two separate games. Um, so if you do want the flat one, make sure you don't pick up the VR. And if you do want VR, make sure you pick up the VR one. But yep, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And um, catch my full review over on GamePit.co.uk. And um, I'll catch you all later.